One. Well, there's activity going on with North Korea, and I think this president has done an unbelievable job, a fabulous job, in dealing with North Korea so far. I do have faith in his skills. I really do. But beyond him, I do not have faith in North Korea. I do not believe that they will get rid of their nuclear weapons for all time. Period. They may sign a deal that says that. They may conceal what they have, but they're not going to. They're just not going to. And I know people are going to be jubilant no matter what happens and so forth and so on. But I know five years from now they'll have a nuke or nukes. Ten years from now they'll have them. Uh, This regime has played this game for decades. And by the way, with the help of the regime in China. That's not to say I don't trust Pompeo or Bolton or Trump or anybody else. That's nothing to do with it. I'm saying the North Koreans are not going to abide by any agreement they sign. That's all. Also, look at Iran. We talked about it over and over again. The sanctions that George W. Bush had put in place had done severe damage to the economy and the currency in Iran. And then who sweep, who flies in and sweeps in and helps them? Barack Obama and John F. Kerry. F. Kerry and, uh, and Obama bail out the economy. Now we have sanctions on, and the only people who can undermine our sanctions uh, would, of course, be our European friends, who will do anything for a buck. Anything for a buck. So that's an issue there. But uh, we could cripple Iran. We could drive that economy right into the sand. And... uh, It's interesting, you'll remember, Mr. Producer, and my beloved audience, I said that I think Trump has has his idea to put sanctions on and drive them out. Well, what are we going to do if we don't have the deal? Remember the media and the Democrats trashing the president? What are we going to do if we don't have a deal? What did we say? Put these onerous sanctions in there and have regime change. And then the uh, the Buchanan wing of the kooks out there. Oh, what, are, what are we internationalists? So what? What, what are we here? We're warmongers, colonialists, imperial? No, it's in America's best interest to rid itself of that terrorist regime that's building ICBMs with nuclear warheads, aimed at us. But we want to stay on a high note here. 